Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I'm Lawrence Presman. You're watching Puck Time, where we talk hockey, hockey, and more hockey. It's always my favorite show. It's my favorite sport. It's the only sport that I have a team that I care about in, and that'd be the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, and today's show, just myself and Andrew McGuinness. Uh, we did have Alex scheduled for today, uh, but he had a, a health issue, so I uh, hope Alex feels better. Uh, but Andrew and I can handle this, and uh, let's welcome uh, Mr. McGinnis in. Nice run, dude. 17 and 3 all sports run. You are the $2 featured handicapper over at sportsmemo.com. Uh, so, guys, head over to sportsmemo.com. You can get Andrew McGinnis's NBA play for tonight uh, for only $2. A welcome to the show, brother. Thanks for stepping in at the last minute. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Prez. It's always great being on the shows. Um, you know, as far as today goes, it's just been a little, little bit hectic because uh, my play actually, you know, went down. I had a total, and it went down, moved three points, so that we had to actually have to take that one down and put up a new play uh, for two dollar Tuesday. So I've got two total plays tonight in the NBA, looking to. Uh, Continue this streak. Looking to go nine and zero on a nine and zero run here. So uh, hopefully we keep going. Uh, it's a shame it had to get taken down, but uh, that's kind of the way it is. I mean, if you buy an all access package, uh, you wake up early in the morning, you're gonna get that good number, you know. So uh, we got a new play up now, and uh, hopefully it cashes for the clients. Uh, you bet, brother. I'm also on a massive run. I'm on an eighteen and five all sports run myself. Uh, we have two promos up today. Uh, you can see them on the screen, AM499. Uh, that's 90 days for all of Andrew McGuinness's plays for only $499. That's a full access. Uh, it includes his hockey, his NBA, his football, and also Canadian football, which uh, ends in uh, about a month. Um, Andrew, let's get into it, brother. We're going to talk four games in depth, and then we'll take apart the uh, remaining games real quick. And let's start with this Pittsburgh uh, Penguins game. They're at home, minus 160 against the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, the over and under is six and a half, and the Flyers are playing much better right now. Um, with that said, you know, I think for Pittsburgh to win games, they need to play tight, checking hockey. Uh, I think this total might be a bit high. I like under the total of six and a half in this game. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't talk you off that. Uh, but the problem is, is that Philadelphia used to have a great goaltender in Carter Hart. Used and right to, now, for about 40 games last year. Well, I mean, he's he's a rebound machine right now. Uh, you know, he's just letting out rebounds left and right. And, you know, he was way too overhyped heading into this season, Prez. And that's kind of the problem that I have looking at uh, an under in this spot. But at the same time, uh, I feel like that's the direction that they want to go in. And same thing with Pittsburgh. Um, you know, Pittsburgh's still missing Galchenyuk, still missing Malkin. We've talked about that numerous times. Uh, so that does hurt them. Uh, but then again, they have, you know, played in some really close games recently. Uh, they beat Dallas. Uh, they played in a close one against Tampa Bay. Uh, but ultimately, I I'm going to feel the same way as you because I think Philadelphia wants to go in that lower scoring under direction. They do have some potential good goaltending. And Pittsburgh, it's interesting. We saw them start off when they had their, goal their uh, uh, injury problems. They were a high scoring team. But they've developed into a lower scoring under team uh, as, the, as the kind of the games have gone on. Because you can't, you can't be an over team. You can't compete in high scoring games when you're missing two of your top centers. You just can't do it. Um, you have to be able to play uh, a lower scoring style. And we've seen some great goaltending recently as well from Pittsburgh. So uh, ultimately, I'll agree with you with the under, but I just I need to see a consistent goaltending performance and defensive performance from the Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah, I mean, they're really struggling in that. Uh, that is for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really like the under in this game. I actually will be betting the under in this game. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Boston Bruins. 8-1-1-1 uh, one, one on the season. Uh, just playing outstanding hockey. And, you know, I honestly did not uh, have majorly high hopes for Boston coming into the season. This team is getting old. Uh, they're in a real tough division. Uh, but they're just playing so good. And they are tough to score against. Uh, they're hosting uh, Martin Jones and the San Jose Sharks tonight. Minus 210 with a total of six. You know, I'm going to stay away from this total because, you know, really, I think anybody could score on the San Jose team. Uh, 
I like Boston in regulation here, Andrew. I, I think it's a, a great play. Uh, and I, I think I'll be getting to the window with that as well. What do you like? I like that pick as well. Regulation. We saw someone comment last week. Uh, do we bet regulations? Of course we do. I know you do, Prez. I bet it as well. It's a great way uh, that you can feel more comfortable betting. Uh, I definitely like Boston here. here. Uh, and we're having a little bit of uh, audio issues with Andrew McGinnis. And you, are you there? Yeah, brother, start that again. I, I just think the fact is you said that because they're getting older, uh, you know, you feel like they would digress. But I feel like because they're older, the time is now for them to still chase that cup. You know, they, they have a couple key younger guys, but they still have Bergeron, Pasta and Marshawn. And San Jose is getting scored on left and right. Yeah. You mentioned it, Martin Jones heading to Boston. You know, 7-4, seven, 4-2s, four, four 4 threes. They're seeing those numbers all the time this year. I don't like, to, I don't like betting over his prez with Boston too often. Yeah. Uh, but they have – San Jose has flown over the total during their East Coast road trip. Four of their last six versus the East, uh, Eastern Conference game teams have gone over. Uh, and, and Boston's been just beating teams up on offense. And I don't think San Jose – is going to be able to hang with them defensively. You, you look at what uh, Eric Carlson's doing right now. He's getting blasted by the media. This is a guy that got paid a boatload of money last year, Prez, and he is not performing. Uh, their defensive core was supposed to be one of the best decors in the league, and we're not seeing that right now. Yeah, to say the least. Um, I'm with you on that. I mean, I like Boston in regulation. I like Boston minus one and a half. I like Boston minus two and a half. Uh, you know, I think this game is going to be ugly. Um, speaking of ugly, the Toronto Maple Leafs just aren't playing well right now, Andrew. They've lost three of four. Uh, they lost to the lowly, pathetic Montreal Canadiens on Saturday night. Uh, but, you know, we've seen this story play out, and Anderson has never been a good starter. Uh, it usually takes a month to get going. Uh, and they're hosting Washington tonight. Washington is 8-2 and two on the season. Uh, Toronto finds themselves at minus 130. The total is 6.5. And, and you got to go on the over in this game, Andrew. I, I don't see any other way to bet this. I mean, Washington is putting up points. Uh, they just came back from a West Coast road trip where they scored at will. Uh, Toronto can score as well. Uh, I think Travis McDermott might be in the lineup tonight, which is a big difference offensively. I mean, he's a puck-carrying, puck-moving defenseman, uh, which should open up a little bit of ice for his for the forwards. Uh, I lean on Toronto here, but really uh, my play on this game is on over the total of 6.5. I mean, if you're betting Toronto overs right now, Prez, you're making money. You know, that's just plain and simple. You're making money if you're betting overs uh, with this Maple Leafs team. I'm surprised I'm not seeing a seven more often with this Leafs team. That's been the safest bet with them right now. Uh, you know, as a, as a betting man and I see, you know, as a value guy, I see the Capitals at around plus 120, 125. That really makes me, you know, say, hey, look, you take the better team right now in better form, playing better hockey at a plus price. It's a no brainer. However, you know, I'm going to go ahead with that factor right now, Prez, where, this Washington team was playing Vancouver, playing Edmonton, playing Calgary. Now they're back on the East Coast in Toronto, Scotiabank Arena, taking on your Leafs. Uh, you know, I, am I comfortable laying the minus 125, 130 here with the Leafs? Not really. Uh, I, you know, I will not really be making a huge bet on yeah. this game, but this is a spot where I would take the Leafs, Prez. I like your guys here tonight. Uh, and to be quite honest, I like them as a bounce back team. They're, I have them listed. Like, you look at their loss against Boston. Right, they lost four two, and immediately settled in and four one. You and I were on the show together. They won four one against San Jose. They're following yeah. game. They are a bounce back team, uh, you know. And you know, you know, I was happy to see Montreal take them down, but uh, a couple of plays here and there, they weren't always the prettiest goals. And all of a sudden, it's a five two game. So. I think Toronto bounces back here, actually, and gets the job done. Yeah, and, and one thing interesting about Toronto is they tend to play towards their competition. So, you know, I think it's, a, it's really good for them that they're playing a great Washington Capitals team. I think it holds uh, better for them as a bounce back. I think if they were playing, you know, a Chicago, a Minnesota, they tend to play down to their competition. So, yeah, I'm with you 100%. Uh, 
I, you know, I lean on Toronto. I like, uh, I like the over. Uh, Andrew, I want to talk about Nashville. The Predators are seven and three, and this team is playing to the over every single game. Uh, they are putting up goals, man, and we did not expect that. Uh, they're playing Chicago tonight. Uh, Chicago is three and five, and you know the total on this game is six. Uh, the reason I picked this game to talk about is I feel like that's a low total uh, for a Nashville game right now, and Chicago does have a little bit of speed up front. Um, I look for this game to go over the total again, uh, and I don't know how you can't take Nashville in regulation. Definitely, uh, I'm with I'm on Nashville in regulation here. Uh, the only thing that really worries me, we're seeing Robin Leonard in nets right now for the Blackhawks, and he is, to me, a uh, far better goalie than Corey Crawford. He should be the number one guy for the Blackhawks. However, Prez, he's coming off a pretty bad performance, his first real uh, bummer of a performance on the year. So you got to question how he's going to bounce back, and that's kind of one thing that makes me a little bit uh, curious about me grabbing this over. I like the over as well, but that's kind of the one thing that's holding me back from it. But when you look at the stats, uh, Nashville is averaging over four goals a game. Uh, Chicago, just over two. I mean, Prez, if you're averaging just yeah, over two terrible. goals a game in the NHL, I mean, your hockey team that you play with on uh, Rec League is probably scoring more than two goals a game. I mean, you just can't do it. You can't do it. Chica you know, Chicago... One and four in the last five straight up. They have so much talent, man. I don't know why they're they're not successful. It just they well, only can beat crappy teams. They really don't have a ton of talent, guys. Andrew. Uh, like well, Debrinket, Kane, Taze, they, they, a top a top four or five is still pretty talented. Yeah, they're not a deep team at all, and they have a very bad goaltender. Uh, I think Nashville can get to this over themselves. To be honest with you, I think this game has got five two, five three, six three written all over it um maybe a team total press yeah team total maybe for team sure total. nashville over and if you take the team total of nashville over every game uh so far with them playing this year i think you would only have lost one uh yeah i mean they're averaging four goals a game so it's usually most of the time it'd be three and a half as yeah the, as the team total listen brother it's the last minute of play uh 30 seconds race through uh, a really good Carolina team, seven and three, uh, hosting Calgary. Uh, Carolina's minus one forty-five. The over and under is six. I think the dog is live here. I think we're going to see Calgary. Um, I, I'm telling you, Andrew. I think Calgary is a play on team right now. I think they're going to go on a bit of a run. I think they're figuring out figuring it out too. Uh, I like the spot here with them. I would not back Carolina guys at the price they're laying right now. Plain and simple. Uh, Calgary's a sharp team to bet right now. Uh, guys, I'm on an 18 and five all sports run. I'm on a six and two hockey run. I have two hockey plays up today. You can find them at wagertalk.com. And also take advantage of my offer, guys. I told everybody I'm a real streaky handicapper. My streaks go on for months in both directions. I've just come out of a terrible slump. Uh, like I said, I'm an, on an 18 and five all sports run. Uh, this run is gonna last right through 2019. Uh, so head over to wagertalk.com, use the promo code PREZ225. You get $100 off of a month of my plays. Uh, that's PREZ225 and uh, Andrew McGinnis, $499 for 90 days of all his plays. Uh, head over to Sports Memo and use the promo code AM499. Uh, Rangers playing Tampa Bay. Total is six and a half. Uh, the Rangers are plus 185. Uh, Andrew, I'm in play on this game, uh, but I will tell you flat out, I think the Rangers are very live tonight. I, I just I haven't been able to back the Rangers on a side just because they've been so inconsistent. But what I have been doing is is taking totals with them and going over the total in really good spots. And this sets up for a good one. Uh, you know, you mentioned about how matchups are important when you handicap. I think New York right now matches up well against Tampa Bay because of the speed wise. Right now they're built as as a really fast team. They're a young you know not a, not really a young team, but they're a small team. They don't really have that grit factor. If you look back, I mean I'm pretty young. But if you look back, the Rangers have had a lot of gritty teams in the past. Bump and grind, checking, dump the puck in, lay your hits. Right now, it's the exact opposite of that. You guys like got guys like Mika Zibanejad uh, that are, you know, maybe 
like five foot eight, just uh, going around the fenders and uh, trying to find their way to the net. You know, they're just all about the speed. Capo Caco has been really good for them so far. I'm looking at over six and a half. This is another example, Prez, where I don't get why we're not seeing more sevens for the Lightning. Uh, I, I like this here. We're, we're, you know, it's, and it's actually decent odds for the over six and a half. Uh, total's gone over in nine of the last 12 uh, for the Tampa Bay Lightning against Metropolitan Division teams. You can go down the list. I mean, we could, lead, we could read the scores, but uh, it might bore the viewers. Prez, plain and simple, I like the over in this one. Uh, Edmonton minus 130 on the road playing Detroit. Detroit's won one game at home this year. Uh, and I think Edmonton is a good team. I told you this in my uh, NHL preview show with you. Uh, and I think they're just a well-coached team. Dave Tippett has this team playing outstanding hockey. Um, I lean on the road favorite here, Andrew. I, I'm going to kind of break a rule I've been saying recently where I, I, I'm going against hot teams because I'm going to go ahead with the Red Wings here. 3-8-1. Uh, you know, Not really much I can say about them that they've been hot recently. But however, the Edmonton Oilers... You know, just dropped a game 6-2 to Florida. I'm going to try and catch them here. I'm not, I'm going to avoid the pissed off kind of argument and just say that they're going to fall into a little bit of a slump here. Because, Prez, let's face it, man. They they had a sick start to the season. 8-3-1. and one. They had an outstanding start. Are they going to keep that up? Are they going to really keep that up for that long? I mean, we'll see. But if there's a spot here that I can get a decent plus price, I'll go with Detroit, but definitely not my favorite player. Yeah, I don't consider plus 110 a decent price for a Detroit team. Uh, we are not on the same page here, my brother. Uh, the Dallas Stars <laughs> uh, hosting Minnesota tonight. Minnesota's finally putting some W's on the board, but this is a bad hockey team, Andrew. Uh, you can get Dallas at minus 145. Look, I don't love taking that type of juice, but I don't see any other way to play this game. I mean, I, I like I like Dallas in regulation, Dallas minus 145, and Dallas on the puck line. Uh, I'm going to stay away from the puck line bet uh, because Minnesota is going to keep this game close. And we have a very low total of five, which uh, tells us that the bookmakers do not think uh, this game will be a 4-2, 5-3 type of a game. Um, where are you going? I'm going with the over five, <laughs> so uh, it's it's you know you lost there. It's an interesting number. Uh, I I just look at what Minnesota's been doing. They're either allowing a lot of goals or they're scoring themselves. And, and Dallas is starting to get it together. Uh, I'm going with the over press over five. Uh, over five. Um, I think Dallas is going to need to Low. put up most of the scoring on that one, brother. Uh, Winnipeg on well, the road. Edmonton. Yeah. I was just going to say, you know, that Minnesota scored four against Montreal, three against Edmonton, and then Nashville scored four on them, and then Minnesota scored five on L.A. They, you know, over the past scale of five games, they've turned into a, like, more of an over team. At least, at least the odds makers yeah, should respect them with a five. Not and a half against team, Dallas. Uh, this Dallas team is this Dallas team is two and eight. Uh, at worst, we're getting a push. We got a push. Uh, I can. I, I, that's fair. <laughs> Dallas is two and eight to the over on the year. Uh, Anaheim uh, hosting Winnipeg. Uh, it's basically a pick 'em game here with a five and a half on the board. I'm in play on this game. You can get it at wagertalk.com. What do you like? Uh, I think for anybody, the no-brainer play when you look at this one is going to be Winnipeg. You, you 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 look at the past, what they've done, the talent that they have, and you want to grab Winnipeg at that great price. Ultimately, I'm interested in the over. I I think. The, the, the total is lower than we would have gotten with recent uh, you know teams, recent uh, action we've seen from those teams. However, just based off what these teams have done this year so far, we're seeing a lower total. I like the over, but lean to Winnipeg. I think when you look at the odds, it's a no-brainer to a skilled team. You know, and it's a great point about the over, Andrew, because Winnipeg is 2-7-1 and one to the under. Uh, seven of their 10 games, you know, 2-7-1. and one. Uh, that's not a lot of games going over, and I had this team earmarked as an over team all year, and I think it's going to hold true. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of value on the over in every Winnipeg game moving forward if they can keep these lines at five and a half. Exactly, uh, cool. exactly. Great stuff, dude. Thanks for stepping in for Alex today. Um, you and Buster tomorrow on Puck Time. Um, we'll keep that promo up tomorrow as well. Make sure, guys, to take advantage 
uh, of Andrew's big promotion, AM499, that's $499 for 90 days of all these plays. He is on a 17-3 and all-sports run, and he is the $2 handicapper over at Sports Memo today. Uh, Andrew, go eat lunch, my friend. Uh, you're the best, and thanks for joining us. All right. Thanks, Press.